everyone, Mr. Merkid here, and just before this video starts, I just want to say sorry for the lack of uploads recently. It's just, I feel like people don't appreciate the videos enough when I make them, uh, so therefore I'll just make less, or I won't even make any at all. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the reason why I haven't been making videos lately, but I thought I'd better make one, um, assuming as it's been about two weeks now. Uh, so in this video, I'm just going to be showing you how to use the commands that are built into Skype. Um, if you don't know, there's actually some commands and they're sort of in string form. And I've got a web page up here with a whole list of them all, which I'll leave this in the description for you to go and check out. Uh, but there's a whole list of all the commands within Skype. Like, So we're, we're not actually going to be using um, the things that we usually do. We're using the skype.send command and these are all of the commands here inside this so as you can see this this page is pretty huge there's a lot of things um, but for the purpose of this I'll be showing you how to set the avatar um, but as you can see here we've got set user status offline and obviously you'd put offline to whatever status you want and it's pretty simple um, so yeah let's get into this so pretty much what we want to do is just grab a button because uh, all we need is one button and I'll just call this um, set avatar like that obviously you might want to do something else where you can select the avatar um, but in this code I'll show you how to just set a predefined one sort of thing so we're actually going to be using the skype dot send command and as you can see it takes a command inside of the function here so if we get that up like that we actually need to give it the command so we need to create it and the way we do that is we can say dim command as string and that will be equal to uh, one of the commands so obviously it's set avatar and make sure these are uppercase and again don't forget I'm just showing you avatar but you can come into here um, just make sure you read them properly uh, some require more parameters than others um, so make sure you get it all correct so for this avatar one we actually need to give it a one um, the way we do that is we can either leave a space here like so and, and do space and we just want a one like that or we could have even connected the one on the end of here but I'm just showing you there's different ways of doing things and also we need a different space after so we can just leave a space after the one and we need to um, use a plus again and we need to give it a path so the path in this case is the path of the file in which you want to set to your avatar uh, so we'll just leave here file path and we need to create file path so we can do that now uh, we can say dim file path as a string and that can be equal to uh, I'm not sure if we created one before did we did we create a desktop location if not we can just go ahead and create that the way I like to do it is at the top of my code I always create something I'm not sure if I showed you it yet I probably didn't so what I do is I just say dim desktop path so I can easily access it if I ever need it and that'll be e uh, a string as a string and that'll be equal to my dot computer dot file file system dot special directories and inside here we we can access most of the folders so you can see you've got pictures music documents uh, but I just want to be getting the desktop so the reason I do this is because I use the desktop path more than once um, so if you just create a global variable that you can actually use uh, it's pretty easy to access so we got that and if we come back down to the bottom where we was our file path can now be equal to the desktop path and the name of the file and um, which we don't actually know the name of the file yet so but we'll call it something like uh, Mr. Merck 4G3 because the way I'm going to do it, get the file is I'm going to save the image um, so let's just see how we did that. Uh, where did we do? Not sure if I showed you. Yeah, save pic. So we're going to save it as a 
uh, the name, so Mr. Mac Avatar. So let's go back into here real quick, and that's going to be Mr. Mac 4G3 Avatar. Avatar, like that. Dot JPEG, I believe we saved it as. Hopefully that's right. If not, I'll sort that out later. And so, obviously, we got our file path now, and we got the command which is sent, set in the avatar and adding our path onto the end. So now we just need to execute it. So we've already typed skype.send command. All we need to do now is inside these first brackets, we need to type skype dot command and now we need to actually tell it the command in another set of brackets and we can put zero comma and we can just say command like that so that will execute our command so let's give this a test um, I'm expecting happen to change the avatar location because I'm pretty sure I got the name wrong uh, but let's just go with it and see how it goes right so if we go over, I need to save my image first. So, save pic. Let's see what it was called. Oh, it's just called Avatar. My bad. Let's quickly change this. And relaunch that. Actually, you're not going to see the effect because that is my image. Um, but I'll sort of leave that for yourself. You can press set avatar. And it would change. Um, I don't really want to go and change my pictures about, but that is how you do the set command uh, using the avatar one. In this case, don't forget to check out this website here, which again I'll leave in the description because it has every single one on it. It's a very helpful web page. Um, so yeah, that's it really. I hope you understand that there's more than just what appears in the API. You can use all these commands. Um, some things are actually more um, so just read through it and you might find something cool um, other than that I just want to say this is probably going to be one of the last Skype tool episodes there's going to be because I sort of want to end it now I feel like it's getting too long um, I want to start something new so obviously I need your ideas on what you want to see so if you've got any ideas for any projects that you want to maybe know or learn um, just leave a comment and I'll try my best to do it um, obviously if it gets more than one um, comment of the same idea then I'll definitely do it so yeah please be sure to give me some ideas because I'm sort of stuck for what people want to see or learn and that's that's it really um, so hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time